Number Both teams have sent their special return. teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably the fastest players in college football today. There you see him with such fluidity and quickness. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Here we go! Lighting! They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. He gained a good six yards on that scamper. him down for a loss and they lose a couple there pretty good stand there they weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call from their own 44 yard line third down there's a strike complete He's taken down around the 47-yard line. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. And he's tackled at the 40. From the 40-yard line, first down. Brought down around the 31-yard line. That makes it second and two. at the 33. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Roger, Roger. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. And they'll get him in the backfield. And the defensive end comes up with a big play. Boy, he's quick as a cat, no question. He got tremendous penetration and was able to wrap him up for a loss there. Tenth play of the drive. everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And he's tackled right away. Well designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. From the three-yard line, second down. Touchdown, Falcons. This 
kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. And he adds the extra point. So a 12-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. The score now, 7-0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Navy's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. That's a great tackle at the 35. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Here we go! He's leveled at the 48-yard line. That's good for a game of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Easy, 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 easy. 45. Omaha. Hey. Ooh, 45. Omaha. Hey, Omaha. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. First down. Ready, go. Ooh, 45. The ball pops free. Looks like a defensive lineman might have it, and he does. And that's a very heads-up play by the defensive end to jump on that fumble. Here's a great job of the defense there to take advantage of the mistake and cause that turnover. The coach wants to challenge this one, so we'll take another look at the possible fumble. So the question on this one is whether or not the ball carrier's knee hit the ground before the fumble popped loose. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. Around the 11 yard line. And for a loss. So the toss to the halfback doesn't work. That's a loss of about three on the play. From the 14 yard line, second down. Looking for the corner. Touchdown, midshipman. The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 21. 
Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So at the end of one, we're even at seven in this one. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. Let's go. We'll pick up a first down with that run from the halfback. Well, that's a strong run. It makes a statement that you can run the ball like that. From their own 33-yard line. First down. They make the stop at the 30. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. Larry, Larry, Larry. 31's the mic. I got one, I got one, I got one. Ready! Whitey! Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 37-yard line. The halfback option good for seven yards. Third and five situation. Ball on their own 37. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And down he goes at the 50. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled at the 45. That's a team one on the play. Third down. And this play is number eight on the drive. current drive. play of this drive. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. Picks up the loose ball. And this could be a big return. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. He makes his way to about the 42. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. They'll bring him down behind the line. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. That brings up second and 13. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. And now the ball is loose. Recovered by the offense. 
The defense was that close to coming up with a big play. Yeah, they tried to get a little bit too fancy there on that option play. Zips it to the back, and he's taken down at the 36-yard line. If something had been open downfield, they might have taken a shot, but all the defense gave them was the short yardage play. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Got the corner. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. his receiver in a hurry, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 41-yard line. From the 41-yard line, first down. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. 31's the mic. I'm here all day. He launches one for the end zone. Touchdown. Big play. Tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one on one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. He makes the PAT. It was a quick three play, 68 yard drive. It's good for seven points. I think the thing, Brad, I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this hall. So the score now, 14-7. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense lost the ball by way of a fumble the last time they had it. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Scrambling around. Slides down. Navy will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Slings it. The Falcons use their second timeout. And that will make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the second round. They've got ten guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. He's to the 40. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. I love to watch a quarterback. He can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense. And right now, it's really paying off. Four yards on that play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take... And he went way up, and he's got the interception. Number 17 with the interception. 
It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. From their own 28-yard line, it's first down. Mike Six! Mike Six! <laughs> Fires out to his receiver, and he tackles him hard at the 33. Navy's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Let's go, let's go. Hey, check back, check let's back. Go. Check, 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 check. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now he tries to buy some time, and they get the sack. From their own 29-yard line, third down. Let's go! Red, 18! Red, 18! Hot. Hot. Going long. They'll bring him down at the 38. We played a half of football. Air Force leads it 14-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense pride themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in, year out. And, and that's what we're seeing today. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Air Force, his coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. He's taken down at about the 23-yard line. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. Ready! They'll knock him down for a loss. Going deep, lays it out there, and it's caught. Brought down at the 25-yard line. outside for a nice game. So he calls his own number and gets about six yards. 
that was for second. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Ready up. Tackle for a loss. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Navy gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense. Things going again. Air Force is up four. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the 27-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Let's go. Let's go. Tackle made at the 27. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Let's go. Let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Ready. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That brings, that brings up more than 15. He really got a hold of that one. He's to the 40. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he's tackled at the 41. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. it at the 17. Oh, he got nailed on that one. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. Air Force holds a four-point lead. Tipped away. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. The middle for a nice run. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Set. Green 90. Green 90. Check, check. 200. He's on the run, and they make the stop right around the 30. That's, That's good for a gain of two yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it fourth and four. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Booming kick. 
Tries to get around the corner, and he's tackled at the 33-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Keeps it on the option play and picks up six. He's at midfield. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. And down he goes at the 30. That's a team 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and 10. Mike, 36. 36 to Mike. Let's go. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Makes it out to about the 19. That's three down and one to go. The Falcons lead it by four. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Hey, that QB's trash. Let's go. Set! Red 18! Red! He lateral. And he is drilled at the 19. They bring him down in the backfield. And he might want it all here and does. Doesn't get there. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. He gets it up and it's good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. It's a big opportunity for this offense. They've got the lead. Now they want to just try to manage this clock and be smart with the football and see if they can work as much clock as possible. And he's taken down around the 23-yard line. Second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 23, Air Force, with a one-point lead. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. And here's a quick throw. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Three down, three down. 31's the mic. 
Here we go. The hat. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Second and ten. Ball on their own 45. 31's the mic. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. He's in space. Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. From the 45-yard line, first down. Less than three minutes in the game. Set. Green 95. Green 95. Uh -huh. It's tough to get this guy down in the backfield. He's always falling forward. But on that one, they hit him before he could get his weight going forward. And they got him. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Navy's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback that you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. He's going to air it long. And he stays in bounds to make the catch. Game 47. That makes it first and 10. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Larry, Larry. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That makes it second and six. The spike will stop the clock. field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It's up, looks long enough, and he got it! Navy staff just devastated when you look at him over on the sideline after that turnover. Well, everything seemed to be falling into place for them with a chance to win the game and then to turn it over like this. Oh my gosh, what a nightmare. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is what you dream about, situations like this. You've got the football, you're behind, but if you take the lead, it could mean a win. Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. Over the middle. 
They'll bring him down around the 28-yard line. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down at the 22. Under a minute left. Ready. Three nineteen. Check, check. Regular, regular, regular. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. He's scrambling. Right down around the 14-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. So now this offense finding themselves back in the red zone again after they gave the ball away on a fumble their last trip. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. This is the type of kick that puts you on the map. If you miss, you're just another kicker. If you make it, you're praised forever. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Well, folks, do you think we can see another Cal Stanford? They need to return this all the way to win it. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the throws on the run, and it's intercepted. Tackle around the 39-yard line. We had a fight to the finish today, 1716 Air Force. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? Air Force comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.